Hello and welcome to this video about Ralph, this 5 inch gauge loco that I'm um, very dodgily building. As you can see, I have no experience in welding or 5 inch gauge. I do have experience on real trains, so surely it's got to be easier, although not sort of experience fully constructing a real train, just, you know, helping them out with the general stuff, restoring them. Um, but it's my welding's not great, but it's pretty solid. I've hit it with a hammer a few times. The engine that's uh, eighty cc. It's bolted on here. These uh, little bits of um, bike that I cut off and um, welded on here because that engine is actually intended to be stuck on a push bike um, like this. Keep a junk here. Um, I uh, had to cut a little bit away from the chassis because I drilled the holes before I actually, you know, tested where it should be. So, it didn't, this chunk of it here didn't quite fit, so I had to angle grind that away. Um, I uh, don't really know what I'm doing. I mean, this axle is, well, this is the axle, it's probably too thin. Um, the bearings, well, I've got some roller bearings, but they're going in. These bits that are cut out of a bit are slightly larger than this box. And hopefully, because I used a set square to weld them on. Uh, it should, should be straight, I hope. Probably won't be knowing me. I've done many um, double O gauge wagon kits and most of them have derailed. Uh, so, uh, hopefully this'll, this won't, but most likely it will. I don't know how I'm going to get them to go straight in the end, but either way. Now, the main problem with Ralph here is that the engine, being built for a push bike, uh, has no way of starting it other than to pedal fast enough and then release the clutch and then it starts. Um, I don't have the luxury of a set of pedals, or won't, on this loco. Um, Natty, who this is intended for his garden railway, um, he's he's building a, a loco out of a, out of an old bike. Um, so potentially I could get him to give me a pull and then um, you know start up as it's moving. But my intention is to um, there's going to be a sort of shaft here. Um, where the chain off this sprocket will go onto a bigger sprocket um, and there'll be another sprocket and go down to the wheels um, but that that is intended to um, have a sort of handle on it and I'm going to have probably a little bit off a bike that just removes the chain from the sprocket so that the, you know, it can be disengaged without having to just hold the clutch the whole time and switch the engine off so that you can release your hand but um yeah no uh it's gonna be um hand started which will be fun uh like a, a sort of old rusten or something um it'll probably it's gonna have uh, a wooden body made out of a bit of three mil ply um and i'll probably style it after a rusten maybe not like the, the sort of really original rusten 48s with a weird uh radiator which do look pretty nice but I, I don't think my skills in woodwork are that great so it'll probably just you know have 
so I slope down the sides running down the length and then have a cab back here and this exhaust will be sticking up out the bodywork now there is a potential to flip it over and stick it down through the frames but um, Matty wants an exhaust that sticks up and I think it's pretty cool as well and just hope we don't choke but yeah that'll that'll be good hopefully and um, it's gonna sound a bit like a moped because it's a two-stroke uh, yeah but it's not gonna be running in my garden so all right I will be pretty pleased once I finish with this because I've been I've already put a lot of work into just building this chassis even if it's uh, not great but that's Ralph hope you enjoy <laughs>